You ever been staring up at the stars, saw what you thought was a UFO, but it just turned out to be a crazy SpaceX launch or some new type of satellite? Well, that's bound to happen a lot more in the near future. Within the last five years, thousands of satellites have been launched into low Earth orbit, or LEO for short. Some of these have probably obstructed your view of the stars on more than one occasion. These satellites are used for a variety of purposes, including weather forecasting, as well as television and imaging, but a more recent need for LEO satellites is to provide satellite-based broadband. SpaceX's Starlink alone has placed over 7,000 of these satellites into orbit since 2019, and they have plans to launch around 35,000 more. Three, two, one, zero, ignition. And These satellites are in a sweet spot within our skies, and they're capable of beaming down fast, low latency internet. LEO satellites are now providing access to internet from virtually any location across the country. Out of all the broadband satellites in space, three out of four are from Elon Musk's internet provider Starlink. Since 2021, Starlink has grown to around 4 million subscribers worldwide and about 1.4 million subscribers in the US. But this only accounts to 1% of internet connections in the country. These satellites are providing rural areas with faster internet, which couldn't be achieved in years past. So needless to say, satellite-based broadband, and specifically Starlink, has revolutionized internet accessibility and is shortening this digital divide. Unfortunately, this kind of does come at a cost to you and me. Starlink satellite dishes start at $349, and that's not even including the monthly plan. The cheapest one is around $120 each month. That's twice the price of the average internet bill. So there is kind of less of a digital divide, so to speak, just as so long as you can afford it. More money to shell out for this type of internet isn't even the biggest concern. The satellites themselves are the main issue. More satellites out there means more space junk. And what many people don't know is that these types of satellites aren't built to last a lifetime. Starlink satellites have a lifespan of five years. Then that space junk comes crashing back down to Earth, literally. Since these satellites are only a little over 1,200 miles away from Earth, when they expire, they fall towards it. And as they fall, they burn up into our atmosphere, creating yet another problem for the ozone layer. Now, all space junk is supposed to burn up, but don't let that go over your head, because if you're not careful, something might just land right on top of it. Last year, a piece of metal from a pallet of batteries dropped from the International Space Station and landed on a home in Florida. So next time you're out under the stars, see if you can spot a LEO satellite. Odds are it is Starlink, but when you see it, remember that it's giving internet access to someone who may really need it. The question is, is it worth all the clutter and cost?